Hi guys, Kendall here with juliesfreebies.com and today I'm here with a sneak peek at the Dollar General penny shopping list for Tuesday, July 17th. Now keep in mind, this is just speculation at the moment, but this should be the items. And what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and grabbed a, one of each so that you all would know what they look like and have the correct UPCs so we give you the best chance for success penny shopping on Tuesday if you go. Now I have my lucky jacket on because I think some of these are going to be a little harder to find than the other ones and we're all going to need all the luck we get can get to get these items. The first one that we're going to have is going to be Kellogg's Apple Jacks. This is the family size box. I actually found these on the clearance section but you'll also on each of these items want to be checking the last call rack if your store has one. That's like a wire rack usually. And also check the regular spot where these go. Those three spots are your best chance, are gonna be your best chances to find these items if your store has them. The next one we have is gonna be the Clover Valley, which is the Dollar General brand Corn Flake Cereal. This is an 18 ounce box on this one. We also have a regular instant oatmeal, Clover Valley as well. This is gonna be the six count packages on this one. And keep in mind, every one of these things, in order to be a penny, has to have an exact match. Same flavor, same box size, same count, same UPCs, everything like that. The last one we have, which I'm really excited about, is the Mrs. Butterworth's Original Syrup. This is a 24 ounce one, and these, these retail for like three or four bucks a piece, so Tuesday you'll be able to get them for a penny. Okay, I did want to kind of do give like a quick little mini course on how to do Dollar General penny shopping. So what you want to do is, well first let me explain why the stuff is a penny. The stuff is a penny because they're supposed to remove it from the shelves. So when they're supposed to remove it from the shelves in the inventory, the items automatically go to a penny. That's just how their inventory system works. In their store policy, it states that if you, the customer, finds an item for a penny in the store, they have to sell it to you. Now a few disclaimers. If you go in and you ask where the penny items are, you're just going to make the managers mad. Don't ask. Most employees probably don't even know about the penny items, so don't ask about them. Uh, another thing you need to know is that when you when you buy, don't ask for a price check either. Another big thing. If you ask for a price check, they don't have to sell you the item. It's when you're checking out and you have the items, that's when they have to sell them to you. Uh, when you do grab these items off of the shelf, if there's more than one, grab all of them and put them in your cart. Because if you just go up to the counter with one of these boxes and there's more on the shelves, the employees are going to go remove the rest of them and you won't have a chance to get them. So if you see these and you think they're a penny, make sure you're putting them all in your cart. Now if you get to the register and there was a mistake on something and it doesn't ring up a penny, just say something like, oh I thought this was on sale or oh that's not the right price or I changed my mind. Offer to go put it back. Be really nice about it. Respect your store employees. They'll be nicer to you if you're nice to them. Now, on the on the items, what you'll want to do when you're in the store is you want to make sure it's an exact match. Make sure it's cornflake cereal. There may be other flavors. It's just this one. It has to match the exact UPC on the bottom. Make sure that's an exact match. It, make sure the size of the box is an exact match. Everything has to be exact for this to work. The best places that I found to look for the penny items is I usually check the clearance section. I check the last call bin. There's wire racks sometimes. I may have mentioned that earlier. The wire racks, I always check those. And then check the regular spot where these go in the store. Also be sure to look on the top shelves because a lot of times that's where they store their back stock. So there might be some up there. So just check those three places and that should really help you be able to find these items. If you have any questions about penny shopping, um, ask them in the comments and I'll try to answer them if I see them. But keep in mind, these are not going to go to a penny until Tuesday, July 17th. So if you go in tomorrow and you're trying to get these before that date, they're not going to be a penny. Another question that I do get asked a lot is, uh, are, the penny, are, are the penny items just one day? No, the, these will stay a penny until they're either gone from the store or they reset. Sometimes like uh, Apple Jacks are like, for instance, might use the same barcode over again for a new product that comes out in a couple months. If they do that, this will reset and then go back to the regular price. So those are a couple of things to note. Uh, I really do hope this helps you out. I know a lot of people have questions and I know a lot of people are really wanting to get started doing this. So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for everyone to learn it. Um, check out our other videos. There's a couple more on penny hauls. Uh, there's some freebie videos on our channel and there's also another video about how to do penny shopping. So make sure you're checking those out. If you do like our video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, turn on that little bing button, 
And so you get notifications when we have new videos and you can see the pre the sneak peeks that we do and you can also see our penny hauls that we also do as well. So I really do hope this helps and check out our other videos and I'll see you in the next one.